Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for June. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius. Please show me messages for Aquarius. Ace of Cups. Feeling happy. Feeling loved. Uh, there is some healing going on. I like it. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Let's crossing Aquarius. Seven of Wands. It's challenging you is to continue to fight for your happiness. That's that Leo energy. Stand up for what you want and stand up for what you believe, okay? Underlying issue here or the foundation for Aquarius is reading the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. I feel like there's been a change. That's the reason why you guys are feeling kind of happy right now. There's been a shift. Sagittarius and Pisces energy here. The wheel has turned and it's turning in your favor. Right now. Take full advantage of this. Take full advantage of it. I feel like some of you have met someone too. Hmm. But make sure that if you have met someone that you don't completely get blown over by them. Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, not wear your heart on your sleeve. Uh, let it consume you totally and until you forget like what you really want and who you really are. But there is some somebody I feel that you guys have met that um, you guys are smitten with or somebody is smitten with you. What was going on in the recent past for Aquarius? Six of Pentacles. Doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. Or treating others the way they want to be treated. Not necessarily how you want to treat them. But there's definitely this give and take energy that you guys have going on. There is some good stuff surrounding you here. This Taurus energy. I feel like somebody wanted to spend time with you um, and you're just coming around to it for some of you. There's somebody here. Hmm. Crowning thoughts for Aquarius. Ten of Wands. You don't want to feel betrayed and you don't want to go backwards. You don't want to be in a place that you were um, stuck in before I feel I feel like you've gone through some shit and it's been several things you don't want to ever go back there now I will say this with the will of fortune it's all about change what comes up must come down and what's down will come up again so at some point there will be a shift and a change it may not ever be the way that it was before how bad that you perceived it but um things will definitely have a downturn some kind of way in some area you get what i'm saying like nobody feels great all the time so i feel like you don't dwell on that because that's what you're thinking about almost like waiting on the other shoe to drop that gemini energy there what's coming in for Aquarius. It's coming in for Aquarius. Knight of Swords. Oh, somebody wants to tear down your walls. Because I feel like you have walls up. Even though, you know, you're happy and you're, you're, it seems like some of you are starting to date. There's somebody here. Um, and your walls are still up. 
but I see somebody wanting to break down those walls want you guys to be um, a little more vulnerable but if you do allow yourselves to be vulnerable don't just let it all hang out that is what I'm seeing here don't let it all hang out okay because if you do that, if you just find yourself just completely vulnerable and just smitten and just, oh my God, I just love you so much, then that's when you allow for a sneak attack, so to speak. And then you start feeling like this. So it's, it's you know, just try not to wear your heart on your sleeve is what I'm hearing here, okay? <clears throat> How is Aquarius viewing their situation? How is Aquarius viewing their situation? The world. Hmm. You've learned your lesson <laughs> and you're ready to start over. You're ready for a new beginning. That fixed energy. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus energy. You've learned your lesson and you feel like it's about time for shit to start turning in my favor. What is the influence here for Aquarius? The Seven of Cups. You definitely have options. There are things on the table that you can select from. Okay. Before I feel like you guys um, were feeling stuck. You were feeling like, um, why me? Why can't I catch a break? But right now, you see the options laid out in front of you. Not just in your intimate relationships, but in your life in general. Scorpio energy there. Hmm. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Eight of, eight of Swords. Again, you see the Ten of Swords there in your crowning thoughts. Your fear is the Eight of Swords that you will be trapped in your thoughts. You will be trapped in um, like this revolving cycle of, of uh, negativity. That's your fear. You want to be able to let go of the past and be able to move forward. What is the overall outcome here for Aquarius? Ha. Uh, I love it. The chariot. You know what it is. Okay. Success. Success. This is a success story. Here you are looking back at the Ten of Swords. You're moving on from that. Letting that shit go. Letting it fall to the wayside, okay? But at the same time, you're still fearful that the same shit is going to happen again. That those thoughts will creep back in. That somebody's going to make you feel like they're taking you for granted or they're um they're wanting something from you all the time and you can't get anything from them like there's things that you feel like you cannot let go of but you want to you definitely want to be able to let go of shit and let bygones be bygones and move forward because right now you are happy and you want to be able to bask in that happiness I see a relationship here for sure. I see a success, a possibly successful relationship. If you don't let this overcome you here with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords, do not overthink this. Do not just, just keep calm, cool, collect it, and be in the moment and go with the flow. Don't overthink it. Because between the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords is the Nine of Swords. We all know what that shit means. That's worry. And it's worrying beyond belief. And it's worrying for nothing, basically. Because the Nine of Swords is like an illusion. Okay? So, 
that's cancer energy right there and that's what i have for you and i'll be speaking with you guys soon